I'm John Meyer, CEO of the Holstein Association USA. I'm in Watertown, Wisconsin this morning at Smithcrest Holsteins with Hot Mama Red ET, the 2016 Holstein Association USA Star of the Breed. I'm pleased to be with some of the owners of Hot Mama. I'm here with Travis and Matt Smith, here uh, owners of, of uh, Smithcrest Holsteins, and Rhonda Shore and Matt Linvent, owners of the cow as well. Let me uh, ask you, what's the story behind Hot Mama Red ET? How did you purchase her? Tell us a little bit about the background and how she ended up here being owned by all of you. Well, I actually saw her on Facebook, of all things. Uh, Michael Heath had consigned her to their sale in Ohio, and he had put something up about it. I had called him and, and you know a few of our partners about this pretty little red calf with a really great pedigree and uh, that started the conversation and that led to the trip to Ohio to, to eventually purchase her. Okay, great. So you purchased her in Ohio and then tell us about what kind of transpired from that point. You know, uh, tell us about the evolution, how she ended up here and, uh, and all that's happened since the time you first bought her. Our partners at the time, when we got, when me and Travis got in on her, I just kind of said, well, if that's fine, but she's going to live at our place if we're going to own her. Sure. Because out of all the people that we're in, we were the only place that you know, had a farm. Now, yeah. for the benefit of our audience, what sale was it that you uh, you bought her at? Uh, the Triple T and Heath sale. Mm -hmm. in, uh would have been 2014. Okay. So, uh, Hot Mama was how old when you bought her then? Senior calf. Senior calf. Okay. Was, the four corners of her pedigree for me uh, really stood right. out, and not to mention the fact that she was a good calf in herself. Um, you know, later that year she'd go on to be Reserve All American Senior Calf, so that that was definitely a bonus. So she does not only does she bring type, but she brings pedigree as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, no doubt. You know, kind of a tell us a little bit about the background of Smith Crest Holsteins, and then then we'll get into uh, Rhonda and Matt your background a little bit. I know that uh, all of you have been involved, of course, in registered Holsteins for a long time. So so uh, tell us a little bit about Smith Crest and a uh, little bit about your herd and, uh, and and what you're doing here. In 2005, I believe, me and Travis formed our LLC. Um, we were renting a barn at the time. Milk at about 60 cows, and would have been. I think we rented it for what three years. Yeah. Yeah. And then February of 2008, we moved back home here to eventually here now take over the home farm, and uh, we've added this addition on since and had a sale since we moved home. Um, March of 2012, we had a sale, which we sold 100 head. We sold. Uh, 40 milk cows and 60 heifers and then basically from the proceeds of that built on our addition here for the because we were getting to the point where we needed a place for the better cows and uh, added this on and then and it was, currently we're milking about 125 cows um, and run about 550 acres, I believe, somewhere right in there. Let's, well, let's get back a little bit on the partnership itself, how you decided who was going to be involved, and tell us a little bit about some of the other people involved. And, and uh, I'm sure you know, there's always a, uh, a story behind uh, these, these uh, syndicates, if you will, when they get together. So uh, give us a little of that background. Well, I had struck up a conversation with Ernie Kiefner at the sale, and I'd asked him why they were there, what they were looking at. and, and at the time, there was a four-year-old cow that was going through that sale that everybody was hyped up on, and I had assumed that that's why they were there. And he had mentioned that they were down here to buy this red calf, and I can't compete financially with Ernie. And, uh, and we kind of said, you know, we didn't really want to bid against each other, and um, so we formed a very impromptu partnership as the calf was going into the sale ring. And, and not all of the, the owners of uh, Hot Mama could be here with us today. Tell us uh, the other owners. Uh. My sister, Randy Connery, and uh, due to Matt's interest here. Uh, Majestic uh, Genetics is owned by um, myself and Ron Abing. They milk uh, 1,100 cows in Lancaster, Wisconsin. Yes. Uh, we founded this in 2006. Um, we bought a calf at the, or some embryos at the Royal that year, and that turned into about 35 or 40 head 10 years later. Um, he couldn't be with us today, but he's he's a he's an equal partner in Majestic View and is also part of the cow. 
Correct. We've heard a little bit about Smithcrest Holsteins and, and Matt and Travis and, uh, and, and uh, Majestic View as well. Uh, some of our uh, viewers today may not know the background of, uh, of Rhonda Shore and Matt Linvet. Um, they are, I have, uh, uh, are part of the Hetz family, of course, of Crescent, Crescent Beauty fame, and, uh, and I think it's great that uh, you're involved in the registered Holstein business the way you are. So give us a little background. Rhonda, why don't you start out and uh, uh, talk a little bit about um, your background and your family and, and how this transpired with you. It's always great when people who aren't actively dairy farming stay uh, involved, invested, and, uh, and, 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 and carry the registered Holstein flag. I think that's great. Well, all of my family, both my brothers and my sisters and I, we are still all involved actively owning some cattle and showing cattle. It's in your blood. It just stays that way whether your farm is there or not. And our farm, it's Crescent Beauty Farm, has been gone for a number of years just through uh, development and highways and things like that that go on. And uh, Matt being as interested as he is, he's kept my interest going as well throughout the years and and uh, we just love it. And Matt is uh, of course Rhonda's son and Matt you've, you've been involved since you were just uh, a, a baby haven't you? Um, off and on not not really actively until I graduated from college. Okay. Uh, my first job out of college took me to South America for four years because of dairy cattle. Uh, I came home um, invested a little bit of money into some of these registered cows uh, later on, my mom got involved, maybe out of necessity more than need. And, both, uh, I mean both. <laughs> and um, it's kind of evolved. My just recently, my aunt Randy has got involved. I've owned cattle with Rodney, my uncle Rodney Hetz, for quite a few years, and and this whole thing for us has transformed from a little bit of a hobby actually into a business where we've got 35 or 40 head between live cattle. We got cattle in Quebec, obviously here up at Ryanview, um, and it's been a it's been a lot of fun it's Travis it's, I, I called Travis one day and told him the news and what was, what was your your reaction what, what what were you thinking when I gave you that call I really I really didn't know what to say I was really surprised I it re really caught me off guard and I guess I couldn't be happier and I called my brother right away and told him and we let Matt and Matt know and he let the re everybody else know and they were we were all we're as happy as ever, I guess. Well, that's great. Now, Matt, tell us a little bit about about her. When you get her out on the show string, how does she adapt? You know, she always does well in the ring. But you know, uh, tell us a little bit about traveling with her, working with her every day. She's, she's one of the easiest cows I've ever worked with. Like, no matter what you do, what you put in front of her, where you take her, how long you got her on the trailer, <laughs> I mean, she just she does it all. Mm -hmm. And Matt's the only one that shows her. Yep. She's done everything you can ask a cow to do, and we love her. And well, one, one thing about the cow uh, that people should understand is what this cow has done by the time she's two years of age is absolutely remarkable. She, his dedication to this cow is second to none. She's ultra dairy. She's, mm -hmm. you know, you just can't find with the bone quality, with the dairy yeah. structure, with the open rib, the you know, with the flat bone that this cow has got, you know, and just the will to milk, you know, like. I mean, you know, this lactation, I mean, she's averaging a 6.1 on her fat test. Wow. You know, she's going to make make almost 2,200 pounds of fat this year, yeah. you know, I mean, and close to 1,700 pounds of protein. And, and that, that, that says it all, you know, and, and um, uh, that's what, what the star of the breed is, is a cow that excels in the show ring and in the barn with production. It's, it's, it's an award for that cow that is great in, in uh, type and production. Hot Mama Red ET currently scored 92 points because she is the 2016 Holstein Association USA Star of the Breed.